Hey, what's up there, guys? Um, I was taking a look at this old Contempra telephone uh, that I bought. Uh, I don't know, I think last fall. Got it from a second-hand store. It cost me four bucks. And uh, apart from not being the prettiest telephone you've ever seen, uh, yeah, one of the reasons why I got it for four bucks is, I guess, also because the, um, the ringer doesn't work on it. So, uh, me, uh... Yeah, sometimes no wonder people think I'm Italian. I start talking to me, uh, not I, but me. So, yeah, anyway, I was too tired to go out today. I only went out to do the groceries because I walked so damn much yesterday. So I thought, uh, I was looking at this phone. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm going to show the uh, YouTubers, the people who are really old school like me. I thought they might get a kick out of this thing. Uh, not specifically the way it looks on the outside, but when I finally popped off the cover, actually, I broke it off, unfortunately. One of the clips there, broke it off, trying to take it off. It wasn't obvious. But uh, yeah, the innards are really what's interesting. But I want to show you this here. Also underside of it because it's a, it's also not only a sign of, they don't make things like this anymore, but even what's underneath. Uh, for example, see it says, Vendu par Bell Canada, sold by Bell Canada. How cool is that? And then it says, Right, because I'm in Quebec, it says property of Propriété de Belle Canada. But that sticker looks like it could have been put on there in the 80s or 70s. And then here at the bottom, it says telephone company property not for sale. Yeah, it was a big deal back then, you know. Made by Western Electric um, and patented in 1954. I don't know if it says the patent in 54, but it says that inside. Made in Canada. Probably made right here in Point St. Charles. The building still exists. Um, I'm not sure, but I think the phone is a 69. Because you see there's a 69 here. And then there's a 69 marked also a couple of times inside here. Let me show you the innards here. Whoops. Sorry. And look, it's a rotary. This, my younger viewers, is what we call a rotary phone. Now, it's kind of hard doing this with the holding up the camera, but the reason why they call that is because it wasn't a, a touch tone dial phone. You see, you had to, so you say, the, well, let's say the phone number was 869. You had to go all the fucking way around like that. I remember when I was using these sometimes when I was younger, I don't know, at somebody's house, and I thought, fuck, it's like taking forever. So 8699, nine. you were lucky if the one was in the, in the fucking numbers, not zero, zero. You know, how long that takes zero. You know, operator, how can I get? To, how can I access? You know, how can I transfer your call? But uh, still, anyway, for four bucks, hey, it's vintage. You know, fucking Christ. I mean, it's heavy. You know, this is it's a heavy item. Fuck, it's heavy metal in there, right? except for the casing. Just like my whole desk here is fucking weighs a ton. Now you hear the bell, but it doesn't ring. And I looked at it. And I don't know, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I broke this little piece off. Where is it? I can't see it. Anyway, a little piece, little plastic piece broke off. Where is there? So you see, the bell, it sounds. It, it's a bell. But it will not ring. I had to actually go to my neighbor's place last year when I bought the phone to, uh, to see if it fucking worked or not because my, my phone lines never worked here, actually. Uh, because the previous tenants, you know, they had a... Um, you know, cell phones, and, uh, and me anyway, uh, I had a landline too, so I had a long landline for a long time, and then I gave up on it, thinking, well, you know, I'm out a lot, and I sound like Kijiji and stuff, and people need to reach me, well, you know, wh why have a landline, you know. So anyway, uh, so this is it, look, look how beautifully simple it is now, again, see here's the serial number here, well, it looks like a serial number, but it says 1077B1, maybe it's from 1977. May was actually built in October 77. See, that's what it could be. Because that's the 69 again, but then again, that could be a model number. Um, you know, I love that about this camera. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's really, it focuses really well, easily actually, compared to my other camera. Oh my God, what a pain in the ass. I mean, look at that, everything's nice and sharp. Hear that? It's the sound of the ghetto. The wiring coming into play here for the uh, workings of this machine, and it's really neat, you know. 
There's your, you know, power electric supply here for communication. It's a neat thing. I'll give you another look here on the other way. Most of doing this in the office, yeah, because see, it's late in the day, so the sun's coming in here because I live in a fucking dark apartment for crying out loud. But that's probably going to change in a year or so. As much as it's convenient living here in Hachalaga, um, I don't want to go into it, but and I'm kind of tired of living in this fucking dark apartment in this area of degenerates, unfortunately. Not changing enough this area for me, let me tell you. Oh yeah, you see, and this was for the, the ringer low. And this is for the high. So, I love the sound of that bell. It's no wonder why people have cell phones. A lot of people actually still have a, a, an old school bell type ringer. But it's, it's you know, and it, it's, it's nice, but it's not the same. It's really not the same, actually. Anyway, so that's about it. So, uh, any of you uh, interested in this, uh, in particular, my friend there, you know who you are, Montreal West, uh, you know, whatever. You know, five bucks is yours. Got to make a buck on there somewhere, literally. You know. Anyway, since I'm in my office, let me give you a quick view of what I got here. Any of you interested in this stuff? It can be shipped. I will not ship any of these vintage Azzo in the frames. You have to come and uh, come and get them, or uh, I will take them out of the frames and. Uh, Ship them easily. And let me show you how much I ship. See, I got all my envelopes here. That's how much stuff I cut out to, out of magazines or cardboards to cut the size to, to ship. And, um, and there's a Metro drawing that Ben did for me. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Uh, so. Focus, you fucker. Why are you focusing now? You were focusing beautifully on that phone. Come on. Doesn't seem to be focusing well. Yeah, stupid cameras. Anyway, so that's it, guys. So, uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.